Hi guys and welcome to part two of making an art journal. Um, in part one we did the cover and um, we covered it with some gel prints. So today we're going to put the signatures in it and um, decorate the front of it. So let's go with that. I've pulled some signatures together already. So uh, this is a six by six journal so I've just made sure that they were um, six high and basically they're a um, A4 piece of paper folded in half you just cut it to the six inches up there and inside the cover because we allowed a little bit at the top and the bottom at the sides um, when we went the eight and a half um, in the length <clears throat> okay so um, the papers that I've got in that's just combination gel prints um, wrapping paper, some smaller pages, coffee dyed, some cardstock, anything you got really. Uh, you can put music paper in there. I'm going to be doing three signatures today. Um, and then by the time we add textures and fodder and bits and pieces, it will thicken up a little bit. And as you can see, there is plenty of room there for it to become even thicker okay so let's just put them to the side <clears throat> initially so i always make myself up a template for the um, binder so i can get the holes where i'm going to stitch even so what i've done because as we know our um, binder there is um, two inches wide and then the size or the length is six and a half. So I've written that there, two inches by six and a half. And then we space it out. Um, I've only done th the three hole um, stitch. You can do up to five. Um, I think three is enough. So I've marked it out. First of all, I've done the center line, which we'll do in a minute so I can show you. And then I've gone the center of each side then I've found the center again, and then I've gone out one and a half inches from the center. Drawn the lines, which then give you a cross point to do your holes in. So let's um, do that one just as an exercise so you can see what I did there. Because <clears throat> sometimes explaining something, it's hard to take it all in, but when you visually see somebody do it, then it, it sort of, pulls it all together and makes sense. So this one is six inches. I just grabbed a bit of a scrap bit of, not quite long enough. Let me grab a, a different one then. There we go, oh, it's the back of a gel print, but that doesn't matter. <clears throat> so we want to go two inches wide. by six and a half inches. So that's that piece there. We've got another piece too. Um, I'll cut it while we're at it and it's the same um, width. It's two inches by six and a half. So you can use any any scraps um, for this or you can make the one template and then keep it for all future um, journals if you wish <clears throat> so now to do the lines we've got um, I've marked them there it's uh, one and three quarters three and a quarter five but we'll just find the center of this one just grab a pen <clears throat> on three and a quarter and then this one is one and three quarters so one and three quarters and you'll find that they're basically an inch and a half 
a part and then this one is on five and the middle <clears throat> the middle of this will be one so one inch because it's two inches wide And then half an inch for the middle ones. So basically breaking it into four. That's why we always do the half one first. Um, if you're putting more signatures in, then you'd have to re-measure it out but always start with the center line now where my ruler is at the moment so i'm just going to use my own folder and now similar to um, this one we've done our lines at um, the center which was the three and three quarters the one and three quarters and then over at the five so we'll just draw our lines across there as well <clears throat> so you can see now that um, the cross points are where we're going to put our holes so that's that one there so I'll just push that off to the side and let's do this one this is for our signatures so um, we cut our same width being the two um, inches now this one I cheated a bit I actually folded it in half to get the the center line or you could measure out to the one inch <clears throat> and because you've got your center line there I then put it against here like that and I just marked marked my dots out that way or you could go to all the trouble and, and measure it out to the one and three quarters three and a quarter and five inch so that's where your holes are going to go for your signatures so we'll just pop that one to the side as well put our cutter off to the side <clears throat> now the fun starts so we bring our journal cover back down and we pop our template in there and then I'm just going to get a bulldog clip and I'm going to clip it either end. That way it'll just hold it in place and it'll be less for you to try and reline back up. So now all we need to do is we get a an awl, awl or a pokey tool, whatever you like to call them. And then we just started our <coughs> first one. This one's not the best either. I um, recently moved houses and I still have a lot packed away. So the stuff I am finding, sometimes I'm having to make do, which, um, sorry, I had that folded over, which you will see when I go to sew them in. I couldn't find my book binding needle. Um, so I had to resort to a, um, a big eye beading needle. So it's a bit flimsy, but I did um, stitch a journal this morning and um, just to test it out and we got there. So it took me a little bit longer to do because uh, the needle's not real strong. So you can see that we're poking through and you'll be able to see the holes there if you need to re-go back through them at a later um, stage then that's not a problem at all make sure you don't have your fingers anywhere behind there 
like I said in part one, this um, the board I used for this was quite thick. You don't have to um, use that thicker board. It's just all I had, which is why I used it. But I actually like the sturdiness of it as well. So we can see that we've got our um, 369 holes there. So I'm just going to pop it off. Um, and this is our front. Just pop it off to the side. I'm going to bring a book in. You can use some um, telephone book. Just any book that will just lay there for us. Because we're now going to do the signatures. So we're going to do one at a time. So just find the middle. And what I normally do, because I've got... Um, bits and pieces in here and smaller things I'll go through and I'll just make sure I position them where I want them so that one's down a little bit yeah that's the other one I had and then I'll just put a bulldog clip just on the end there just to hold everything in place now if we put that in the crease there and this is um <clears throat> Another reason I folded, oh, let's use this one, let's fold the other way, folded um, this in half, there it is, to get a valley um, to put in here. Now, one trick, I'll do it with this one. One trick, because this is a bit longer, because our pages are shorter, you can either position it equal length that way, or you could snip these off so you've got the same um, width every time now. Just tidy up that page. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to find the spot for it. So it's equal length out of there. Cut that one off. So whatever works um, for you, and I'll just straighten it up. Um, the one I did this morning, I didn't cut it off. I just lined it up every time. But, you know, this is a lot easier when you've got it the same width as your paper. To be able to line them up. <clears throat> now I would put a clip on there just to hold that in place. You can do one either side if you want. It's not necessary. And then we just use our awl. A lot easier doing it this way. This has actually got a little bend on the end of the tip so it's um, definitely seen better days and sometimes the handle comes off it <clears throat> so that's one done now I would just keep it keep the bulldog clip on it at that stage there take the side one off put that one to the side bring in the next one once again get your pages how you how you would like them this one here I, I went Go more to the centre of that one. That's all I had. Make sure you're happy and not too much is hanging out there. Bulldog in the valley. Line it up. You can see it's a lot easier if you have it just the same width as the paper.
That's number two done. Now number three. I'm going to down the bottom. And I might go a bit higher actually on that one. And the reason you don't want them say all at the bottom or all at the top or all in the middle is think about you're going to be putting things on so you don't want your um, journal just fat at the bottom you want to make sure that um, you give yourself plenty of room to put extra things in there interactive things pockets tucks now just because we're making an art journal this same principle applies like i said in part one to any journal that you want to make so junk journal art journal find another bulldog clip just just on there and then once again into the valley And that's the third one. So then just decide what order you would like to have them in as far as in your journal goes. And then we'll just start with um, number one. <clears throat> so that's going to be number one. If you move it like I just did um, then, that's not a problem because your, your holes, you can just um, re-put your all through just to make sure it lines, lines up, which it does. I'm going through a bit thicker, thicker part of the all just to open those holes up. I might do it on each one. <clears throat> Now, there's no set amount of uh, pages in these signatures. Um, that's sort of up to you, how thick or thin you want to have them, how much um, extra bulk that you're going to have in there as well. We'll determine that. So put that book off to the side. Now we just get some um, thread. Now this is it's actually a beading cord. It's really strong. It's like a... Um, a waxed cotton or a waxed linen um, so I just uh, pull some off always pull off more than you think you're going to need and then my trusty needle like I was saying not the best to be uh, book binding with but it's a, a beading needle it's got a big eye it's quite flimsy really so it'll be see how it performs the second time around for me i'll put my glasses on <clears throat> now the trick here too um because you i have made the mistake before and pulled it right through just tie a little double knot just so if you pull too much and not remembering where the end is you don't pull it out and have to restart all over again so i start in the middle there's there's a lot of various different ways um, to do this but this is how i do it so um, i start in the middle hole now i can take the template 
out. So once again, your covers at the front and go through the middle hole. So I do this side first. Some people work from that side. I'm right-handed and I actually find it easier this way. Pull it through and then turn it over and then go in the hole up from it. And then through the signature. Now we're going to go back through the center hole. Through the center hole. Now down through the bottom hole. So they're all in the same line. You can see they're all in the same line. And then through the signature. So now we're going to pull everything firm. it go on the outside to make sure that they're pulled tight and then you can tension it up a little bit more by pulling that way and by pulling that way and the way to check it is there's not much wiggle room in your signature and then we're going to tie it tie a knot Take, take the needle off the thread there. Let's put him to the side. And that's the thing about crafting. If you haven't got something, like obviously I've had to make do with a, a different type of needle you know, you may have a different type of cardstock that you're using for the cover. Um, you might not have gel printed paper to cover it with. So cover it with um, cardstock or your pattern paper of some sort, scrapbooking paper. Then I'll tie it again, just to be sure. Now with the um, strands, you can either cut them off near the knot, which is fine, or you can have some dangles out the other end. So you can put some beads on it. Some people have things hanging out the end of theirs. So I'm not going to commit either way today. I'm going to leave that in there at this stage. Now that one, just to get out of the road, I will clip over the top there. Lovely. And let's go to the next one. Just rewind up our holes. Yep. And then the same again. So if we thread our needle. Not in one end.
if for some reason you don't get your signature firm the first time it's it's just a case of cut the thread and redo it um it really doesn't take that long once you've done it um one or two times and sometimes it's good practice to have to go back over something and who's gonna know in your own little craft room studio when you've got to redo something So once again, you can see my needles getting getting bent um, through the centre. Through the centre of this one. Then through the top hole. And through the top hole go through that one okay, and that way so the needle will go in now through the center <clears throat> some people don't go back through the center they go straight to that one I actually like to have the stitches even there's a few different ways that people sew the signatures in their journals. So I guess have a look around and um, have a go at a few of them and see which ones you like to do, what works for you. I've found this one works the best for me, but it may not suit everybody. Always check, check the outsides firm. Check that there's no wiggle room in your signature. And then tie a knot. And then I just tie a knot again. Okay, so that's number two. And then just um, use your paper clip to get it up there. Let's go with the number three. So needle, <coughs> cotton. As you can see, it's the same step. And after you do it a few times, you get quicker at it. So once again, in through the center one. Oh, we didn't tie our knot. 
tie a knot at the end guys or you will um, know what I was saying about it. that happened to me I was sewing one in this morning and the first very first um, signature I had to redo and I had it nearly all done too so in through the center Through the top up through the top because my needles um, bent at the top. It's becoming a little bit, oh, there we go. This doesn't want to play nice. And down through the middle. down through the middle and in the end got a lot of storms hanging around um, today and I just went over and had lunch before and because I before starting this video um, it started raining and in my studio it's only a tin roof and it was really loud and I thought oh wow I can't do that so I'll go and have some lunch which I did and it probably rained for another half an hour and um, while well, there's clouds still hanging around and they're still forecasting storms I thought during the break I'll whip over and get this part two done for you guys and obviously the next step decorating the front is is the best thing to do and then you'll have a beautiful journal that you can um, create in and like I was saying, art journal, junk journal. Some people have an, like an in-between, an art junk journal. You might want to make yourself a diary. The principles are all the same with the um, putting, putting it together. And there we go. So three signatures sewn in, as you can see there. Got the front there, beautiful. Now we're going to um, decorate the front. Up to you. Some people don't like to. You might be able. To, you might like to paint on there. Um, I'm thinking probably a rainbow. I've got some watercolor rainbows here um, that I was thinking about. Actually, I like that. Let's go against the color. Um, but we might put a bit just so in the back background there. Yep. Might just scrape some just so on. Just to give it a bit of a textured look. Remember, no rules with art. Hopefully they will dry.
quick enough. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking um, that and then probably a saying of some sort. I did have some here before. Let's have a look. Oh, here's a pile. It's, I um, printed out a heap yesterday just to have on hand obviously these types of projects you know sometimes you don't know until you make it as to um, what sentiment you want to have on there I like just breathe and I like this one art magic or art and soul Do one of those. Heart and soul, I think. Let's see if I've got oh, over there. I've got some um, scraps. You remember from part one, we had to do a bit of a collage in there because we didn't have um, that bigger pieces in there. So always keep your scraps because you never know when they're going to become handy. So I'm just eyeballing this. Um, I don't want it perfectly straight. You have a look at the lines in these watercolour um, rainbows then they're not exactly straight anyway and then if we let me move that off to the side a bit <coughs> and then because that has a white blotch on there we'll put it up to to there but i want to go around the edge of that um First of all, just put down a scrap of paper and grab a Posca pen. go through and throw the ones out that are now because I'm using cardstock with this um, to get a, a good line just butt your um, pen up against the edge of the card and it'll just line it there for you because I only want a thin line if I wanted a thick one I'd actually draw on top of there but the writing's not that big so we will go with just the small one now we'll glue that on I opened up a new art glitter this morning which is not this one this is my old one and when I was making my other journal. So I put a new pin in it and and tip on there. Anyway, do you think I can find the pin? So I've had to put the cap back on it um, and I'll have to go searching. I dare say it'll probably end up being a vacuum cleaner job to find the pin. But I have, apart from getting down on my hands and knees, I have looked everywhere for it. Hence why we, you know, we do these types of things for our pins so we can find them. So I might even edge, edge the paper as well. See how good I am because it's not a real... Um,
Look, it's only paper. There's not a real big edge to butt up against. So just go really slow. It's just that thin line can just define it enough. I love Posca pens. I've got a few colours, but I really need to um, get in and buy some more colours. That's going to go below that. What does that need? Maybe we should I've got a white one. Just do a little bit of doodling on there. This is not the best white Posca pen. It's on its way out. It's sort of thick and claggy. And then it'll run clear. But, oh, like that. Actually, I like the big open box. We'll just even it up again. See, no mistakes that can't be covered up. That's what I love about art. This one's a white paint pen, so let's see. Okay, just adjust it up a little bit <clears throat> on there. Now, that might take a, a while to dry. However, we will glue it on anyway. And that way it can all sit to the side to dry. And I will show you the one I made this morning so you can see just some extra things that you can do with your journals. And if I add any more to this one, you will see it in the um, pictures at the end anyway. because you can't get your head over it you, you tend to to bring it in close and I may get the white gel um, pen out later and define around the flowers just to bring them out as well 
just use paintbrush to adhere that down. Normally, guys, you would, I know you would let your projects dry before doing this. I don't have a um, video editing program, so I really like to get my projects finished for you guys. No doubt I will look into it at a later stage, but I'd rather be creating than editing any day of the week. Lovely. Now I will see if I can find that white gel pen. <clears throat> Just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do when it dries. delusions where's the white one always plays. it's hard to get a good white so I'm defining the pattern so if you've used a pattern paper at all or a gel print like this one where you've used a stencil, you'll be able to highlight these like that. You can see it just brings it and it ties it into the rainbow. Because the rainbow has a white border on it. These Delusion paint pens, look, they're the best pens. Um, but I've had some disasters with them as well. I'm sure everybody has. Um, I think the secret is when you first get them is to just have some patience. With working that paint through for the very first time um, and not wrecking the nib I'll finish the rest of that off camera guys and you will see a photo of it at the end. I'm going to do um, right around the other side as well, um, even though the front and the back are a little bit different. But I wanted to show you uh, the journal I finished this, this morning, which is the prototype for today's video. And it's um, a black and white checkered one. Now this was actual card stock, so it wasn't a gel print. And then I've splattered um, some ink on it. That's actually a piece of the scrap of the thick card stock um, that we used for our journal covers. And um, these leaves here, I'll link the video below. I actually did a video on making fodder. Um, and just, you know, even with the one leaf pattern, the different effects that you can get on that. Um, so that was really really cool and you can also put dangles off the end I've made up some dog tags um, I've put bead on the cords like I was saying you can have some beads hanging out the ends there too I still haven't committed either way as to what I'm doing with that I put a tassel on there these are just great little chains I can put a link um, below and where I've got those as well I may put some wording on that um, I haven't decided there yet either and you can put some lace and ribbon um, you can create little artworks if you you could stamp an image on there if that was plain 
I've just gone round it in Posca pan. Um, so look, there's plenty you can do. That's got the three signatures in it, the same as we've just done. So I'm really looking forward to um, creating in that one. Um, and they're the two there, guys. Thanks so much. I hope you really got a lot out of um, both the videos, uh, making the journal, uh, putting the signatures in and then decorating the front. Um, I look forward to hearing any comments if you've given it a try. Um, your successes, your failures even, because that's where we learn. We learn from our mistakes, um, just having the patience to go in and redo it. Thanks heaps, guys, and have an amazing day. Bye.